Hello everyone, Vincent here. Let's get inspired and make great things happen. Just recently, Switch Studio announced the support of TinyML on their CodeCraft graphical programming platform. CodeCraft is super friendly to TinyML beginner and even people with no programming background. It's super easy for beginners to get started on TinyML project using the real terminal device. Hence, I had the idea of making a series of videos on how to use the CodeCraft platform in getting started with the TinyML project. In this first video, I would like to go through how easily you can get started with creating your first TinyML project in, on CodeCraft platform to per perform motion recognition using built-in accelerometer on real terminal. Before we go into that, I have one piece of good news for you. Last week, Six Studio has launched the giveaway of 10 real terminal devices to Steam Educator. You just need to follow the step listed to participate in the giveaway. Follow, share, and tag. That's easy, right? The link to the LinkedIn post is available on the description. So why wait? Join the giveaway right now before 16 September 2021. All right, let's get into our project now on kickstarting the journey of embedded machine learning. There are only four steps involved in this project. First, create and select models. Second, data acquisition. Third, training and deployment. And finally, programming. Generally, these are the steps involved in developing machine learning projects. Let's go. Open up the CodeCraft online ID in Chrome. Hey. the icon of your terminal in CodeCraft home screen to enter your terminal embedded machine learning interface. All right, so this will be the interface that we will be seeing. Okay, so we will be doing our first step, which is create and select models. Okay, so we'll be picking the first one, motion recognition, using the built-in astrometer. So enter a name according to the requirement. And so I will just name it motion and click on OK. So it will automatically jump into the data acquisition interface. Okay, so this is the default program. Okay, that will help you in terms of data acquisition. So with three default labels, flip, wave, ideal. Of course, you can add, add other classes by yourself, but we are not going to do that right now. Okay, so in case yeah you didn't get this program you can always come to here to get the data collection program okay click on here and then you will get the program so right now what you need to do is to upload this program onto the real terminal so let's connect the device and upload the default data acquisition program in code Cloud. So we will connect, we will upload this program. So COM7, so yep, there's only COM7 and OK. So it will take some time to upload the program. So for the web version of CodeCraft, if you don't install or run the device assistant, you may get the message from that you haven't run the device assistant yet. You can follow the on-screen instruction to download and run the device assistant. 
all right so upload successfully so right now that's basically step by step in instruction here on how do you do the data acquisition okay so you can click on it and then follow the instruction to collect data please take note on the wheel terminal button location okay so for the flip is button a for the wave is button b and c is for the ideal okay so let's get started so so press on the a click for about five seconds and you will see that's okay so when you press on the b so wave so you can wave for about five seconds then you'll see okay right so finally ideal data sampling so you just put on there that's okay so you can see that it's actually recorded for five seconds each of these labels so the data acquisition is finished all right so that's pretty easy right so right now what we need to do is the third step which is training and deployment select the suitable neural network size one of small medium or large and also you can set the parameter of training cycle which need to be a positive integer learning rate and also the minimum confidence rating zero to one okay so let's click on the start training so the interface actually provides the default parameter values which you can use without changing them so the duration of training varies depending on the size of the selected neural network small medium or large and the number of training cycles the larger the size of the network and the number of training cycle the longer it will take so please be patient so you can see that right now it's uh box 10 After training, you can see that the train model job completed in the log and model training report will appear on the interface. So let's check on the model training report. It seems that um, this training is not very good as it's not achieving 100%. Okay, so some of this. So, so what you can do is, of course, you can change the parameters of the neural network or even if you want, you can just restart again for your data collection. So maybe for my case, I kind of change it to medium. And I change this to 0.8. All right. So you can see that the result improved with the same data set. Okay, so it's just a minus um, error right here. Okay, so we can check on the performance on real terminal so if everything is okay and you are satisfied with the training result so in the model training report you can click on the model deployment all right so deployment completed so this model can actually be used in the programming so right now we are in the programming section so we are actually in the final step in using the train model for our project so in the programming interface click on use model to use the deploy model so these are some of the blocks that we can use so let's start with a simple program okay so size to big 
Then after that, we'll display the data. So keep on looping, displaying the data. We do some. And after that, we'll be displaying the result. The result of the condition at zero two. Okay, so once done the program, we can just click the upload button. So select the COM port. Okay, so just chill while it's uploading. The first upload time is long and increased with the complexity of the model. So please be patient. So the upload time for small models is like about four minutes or longer. So depending on the performance of your machine. All right, so now it's successfully uploaded and Right now, if you see on the real terminal screen, it's ideal. So when we flip the real terminal, the screen should show flip. And when we wave, it should show wave. Okay, so and when it's ideal, it should be ideal. So congratulations, you have completed your first tiny ML model with a simple project. So even if the training model score reaches high, but still does not mean that the model is good. The phenomena of a high score of the training model and poor prediction in actual use is called overfitting, which is equivalent to the model memorizing the details of the training data set rigidly and will not do the problem when facing new data. And it's a problem that machine learning training models will encounter. So the solution of this problem are increase the data set so maybe we have a different variety and also reduce the learning rate and then we train the model again. So we can save the program by clicking on the SuperMaker and change the project name accordingly. Save. Okay, so it's saved. All right, that's the end of the video. Stay tuned on this channel for more video tutorials. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and share if you found this video is useful. Thank you.